Pimpin' on Bobo, rap, rap in Bobo, pimpin', pimpin' Boho. Then I'm packin' Bobo, wavin' up, wavin' them out the window. Blame my, blame my six on the gender. Who can, who can break tip, pick them out? This man is kidnapping children. I'm lurking. Go blow his stuff up. Got the trunk pop like blood. We forever tipping. Baller alert. We didn't told them that and we done showed them that, but they never listen. This the next edition on the pedal with it. I'ma shut it down like the epidemic. They invested with the devil. Let's admit it, but I'm legend with it. Coming hella different. Ran in the heavy. Then I had a blessing, man. Power. Wow. I agree with you. We was talking about how this not the West, but it's wild, wild. Okay. Long live screw if it ain't slowed up. It's a lost cause. And I talk loud cause I bows how like the owl loud. Hold up. This the H-Time Texas flow. Showing her like a naked hoe. My paint done so professional. It's wet and red like spaghettios. This my H-Time Texas flow. Showing her like a naked hoe. My paint done so professional. It's wet and You're red still like spaghettios. You're still on mission one. This man is kidnapping children. I guess I'm proud to be a loser. Go blow his stuff up. That was my depression. DJ Toe. So. Yeah, yeah, everything that I'm in be tinted. Everything that you in be rented. Pub check, just hit a hundred K, same day, hit the lot, yeah. not in it. Now I'm on airline trying to get sprayed. Time on I'm really getting paid. Shout out online, she's trying to get saved. I get her in the woods, she gon' misbehave. Bust, yeah, bust that shit like the beat in the back. Bust that shit like the heat in the back. I'ma fuck on your butt and I'm bringing them back. I'm pound them in the ghetto like Don Key. From the land of the trail like Bun B. Like Rose said, and one D. Don't get carried away, this shit on me, cause I'm. Get a real fucking job. I agree. Now I'm high, hope dial on me, and I'm the type to get a my number. So when she call, I can dial Tony. Back then, hope didn't want me. Back then, hope didn't want me. Now I'm high, hope dial on me. Now I'm high, hope dial on me. Get a real fucking job. Check. Bitches don't give a check. Bitches don't give a fuck. They just suck my dick. Driving in my Mustang. This man is kidnapping children. Driving in my Mustang. It's a beast. Don't blow his stuff up. Driving in my Mustang. Driving in my Mustang. It's a beast. start shortly uh, it's been so slow recently 
man. We have a couple of clips. It's probably not gonna go too long, but uh, still. It's gonna be toxic enough. It's gonna toxify your day. Uh, big ups for the positive contributions, Omega Kirk. And start chewing nails. Wow. Big, big ups. <laughs> Uh, that last song, I like that last song a lot. Still tipping. Never stop tipping. Today is a day off. It's a, it's a great day. Let's, uh, let's listen to some more music. explain the context of uh, this new soundbite that I really really like this man is kidnapping children go blow his stuff up now I'm gonna play you this clip it's from uh, DSP versus wings of redemption the better man it's a phenomenal thing let's switch the layout real quick it's a uh, it's the best amazing new video it's by X Mortis a great fucking video a great channel go watch it and someday I'm gonna watch it on stream but not today and it's uh, a clip from Wings, and it's very interesting. I'm gonna just uh, play the context to it, and then I'm gonna spam the soundbite. SP. Wings has claimed that the trolls have ruined his life and his ability to go out and get a real job. And for Wings' case, he actually has some ground behind that statement. Some of Wings' trolls go a bit too hard, to the point it starts to affect his actual life. Like recently, people started framing him as a sexual predator looking for kids on TikTok. I'm gonna show y'all a few comments a pedophile left me and I'm gonna leave his account for you guys as well. What that say? Ha ha ha, you mad? Coming for that kid, coming for that kid. I don't play about my children. This is his profile. So if you guys can, please go report him. Go blow his stuff up. This man is kidnapping children. This man He's is kidnapping children. So I will give him this. So there you go. There you go. This is the new detractor troll meme that no one will understand. Obviously, everybody's going to understand now that I played the clip. Okay, so this, this is man it. is kidnapping children. Go blow his stuff up. It's a great clip. And obviously, this is uh, trolling gone too far. Way too far. So yeah. Now, today we're going to watch some Phil. What a surprise. And uh, the Phil we're going to watch today is, is very toxic because uh, he didn't get his, uh, his goals. He never hit his goals. And it's becoming a trend. So let's watch some, uh, some Snort Burnell. I wanted to catch up on the last like two, three days. So these should be good enough. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's dive in uh, to this Big Ups chat. Welcome to this stream. Uh, yeah, I, I was on vacation for the weekend. It was really fun. But now we're back on the bullshit. So let's watch this uh, man run this uh, amazing business and uh, comment on it. Now let's play the game. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, Zoya, you're asking personal questions that you have nothing to do about. Uh, yeah, my, my basically. Oh, Zoya is gonna come back scene. into this story right. later on. Yes. Zoya is the major character later on, and uh, later in this season, Zoya comes back, and you're never gonna believe what happens. It's a dramatic fight scene, it's a shootout, and you're never gonna guess who dies. Uh, her work schedule has changed a million times, it's been all over the fucking place. Then they take the mask off, like in Scooby Doo, and it's Snow Carl underneath. Wow, it was what a moment. And of course, 
shitheads on the internet want to try to delve into our personal lives. No, fuck you. You're not going to get any personal information from me on my streams. I'm not a dumb fuck. Um, what I can tell you is, yeah, it's been very stressful. Things have not been consistent when it comes to scheduling and the like. Um, it um, is what it is. In, in right off the gate, we start with an amazing clip. I'm not going to tell you everything. I'm not a dumb fuck. Is the guy who has a day off segment where he explains all the difficulties in his life. Come on, the jokes just write themselves. Well, the thing is, people were going to notice. Why do they notice? Because Jasper used to be on the streams every once in a while. And it's easier to make a joke when you're looking at one. When Kat was at work consistently a certain time period, Jasper would be able to come onto the streams. And people would notice that he's not on streams a lot. Because her work schedule's been all over the place. There's been no consistency in anything. So he hasn't been able to come on stream. He's outside the door right now. And, here. Yeah, now he <laughs> continues to overshare and tell us too much shit. But Kat's home today. <laughs> About Kat being home and the door being open or the door being closed. You see? It's so, so silly. How about this, all right? Let me, let me put it in a nutshell. My wife's life is none of your fucking business. That's why I don't talk about it on stream. Unless we talk about, like, our shared day off or whatever. Whoa. All right? You're not going to get information about she's, her. She's getting right? super stop, toxic. Stop asking. Stop probing. Stop I think I even watched this clip last stream. I'm not sure. Your dumb fuck conspiracy theories up. But it's, it's still great. And if you can't control yourself. So great. Because you're basically fucked up in the head. Go fuck yourself. I want nothing to do with you. Can't you need to get out now. That place is toxic. Okay. This Leave man is kidnapping children. I'm a content creator here on YouTube who does gameplay and a little bit of podcasting and other stuff. The, everything to do with my family members outside of the stream has nothing to do with you. It's none of your fucking business. Shut the fuck up. Okay. No, Guys, it's none of your business, dude. If you can support the but stream. why is it, your business your business our business? And now it's a begging segment. Look at this. Right now, currently the lowest a good edit. of the year. No exaggeration. Two dollars to super chats and four dollars. Excuse and me. This uh. The this, this so-called toilet seat, it never gets old. I love looking at the neck phones. It's just it's just one of those things. Six dollars. One of those it's literally things. Literally the worst supported stream of the day of the, the year. And of that's the day. already had a solo stream earlier in the Lego. year. So if you're enjoying the stream, please support it in any way you can. All right? Please. I'm gonna send out a tweet. And now we're gonna send Let out a tweet. He tweeted out so much. I'm not even gonna show you guys. You're just gonna trust me at this point. Cause cause there it's just all co copy pasted tweets. And let's see at the community post. Maybe he deleted them, but maybe he left them up. Uh DSP Gaming, let's go. Best channel on earth. Uh the only channel on earth in his fantasy, I guess. And let's dive into community. What do we have here? Do we have begging? Uh, I know you guys love this. So please help if you can. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, look at this. I'm gonna I'm gonna read it out with the with a robot device. You one hour left on tonight's Skyrim stream. If you can please come help support as, again, this stream is in jeopardy of being the lowest supported of the year. I know you guys love this playthrough, so please help if you can. Go blow his stuff up. What a great community post. I feel so motivated to go and support <laughs> of the year. It's in all caps. Like it's a MF Doom. Uh, now let's let's carry on with this. Is there more? We're oh here we promote uh, publicly unavailable videos. So that's uh, that's very positive. And it's important for it to be as spammy as possible. So he he doesn't delete any of these posts. Uh, it, but they're kind of trash and they have like two likes and they're just spamming the feed but it's okay it's a business so oh we have another one and this is one day ago very nice let's see what the robot says about it i am e to return to the world of halo infinite as we try out the season 2 multiplayer for the first time i'll likely be rusty but let's see what's new and in store for us Please come support the stream to help make up for a slow one earlier. <laughs> Thanks. Do you see how ridiculous this sounds when, when the robot reads it? But when DSP reads it, it's supposed to be... When DSP says it, it's supposed to sound uh, normal. It's, it's so silly. It sounds so obnoxious. Please come support the stream to make up for a slow stream earlier. It's fucking ridiculous. And what? When life gives you lemons, you make React content. What the fuck is this? Listen to this. L look at how ridiculous this sounds. Lord have mercy, I'm about to burst. None of your business. Shut the F up. And he wonders why he's not getting contributions. Dude, by the way, enjoy this delayed support in six months. Hey, big ups for the delayed support in six months, uh, Senrak. And it's none of your business, man. 
It's none of your business when I get your delayed support. No? Uh, what is this one? Join me right now. Lemons. Yeah. Make React content. Join me right now for DSP Reacts down the rabbit hole, the Final Fantasy house. I have not seen this video and have no idea what to expect, so it should be good. I'm never watching this. There's no way I'm ever gonna watch this, him react to this shit. There's nothing that I've been less interested for in my life. Now let's go back to Snort Brunel. You, you get the point. It's a terrible feed and he, he posts shit almost every day. Actually, every day, exactly, even more than one a day. So it's, it's terrible and he posts like what six videos a day in like 40 tweets that's a that's a presence okay so brian did a super chat thank you so much brian no nah, excuse me brian did a ge generous tip of 20 dollars wow 53 dollars answer the call more than i got on the lego stream earlier today it sure would be great if we could hit the hat goal tonight guys for the finale of i am fish uh to make up for the fact that earlier today was so damn slow well ladies and gentlemen i just received an anonymous 100 dollar tip I've never run into this thing before. What is it, a money creature? Money creature? Yeah, look, it's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? All right, everyone. I think it's time to wrap up the playthrough. Again, to those who watch live on streams, thank you for liking the streams. Thank you for commenting in the chat and helping me. Thank you for the support you've given me over the course of the playthrough. It's just a shame that if I'm not playing like Elden Ring, right? I can't really get people to come and consistently support other games. Um, at least at this point, it might just be a factor that these are slower games that are, that are not meant for bigger mainstream audiences and things. You know, the indie games, I Am Fish is not appealing to the masses. He's like, made no, this uh, explanation like a thousand time times already. He says this um, almost every game he plays. Anyway, overall, now he's going to be playing day. I look <laughs> WWE 2K22. No, okay, allow me to explain uh, What is this, uh, so three months after the fact? Tipping. After so it dumb. came out? Okay. Ridiculous. When you tip me, okay? You gotta use a PayPal account. It's the only way to do it. Wait, what? Now we're that, talking about tips? Whatever email address... Uh-oh. We're when talking about you PayPal. Tip someone via PayPal. If he tries to explain to you PayPal as he's playing a game. Okay. <laughs> the only thing the person receiving the tip sees is an, a, an email. I get no, an email. No, no. And the email says... Someone at this email address has has sent this amount of funds. No, That's no, it no. Says. It doesn't say your name. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing at all. No. Zero information. No. Same thing if you look at your transaction no. history. We've, we've called this out a thousand times. Piece of Peace has a video about it, I think. And Ann Lead, I think, talked about it. And I've talked about it. Because we know how it works. It's not really hard to figure it out. You get a first name, last name, and email address. In PayPal, it's the same exact thing. The only thing Come I'll on. ever see is an email address. Yeah, right. Okay. Dude did a super chat asking, did I have a stroke? Does it look like I had a stroke? So, wow, this was, but hold on. In, in this specific one, it did. Access, train, wheelchair, access, train, wheelchair, wheelchair access, train, wheelchair, 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 it's now a wheelchair accessible stream. Access, train, roller skate. And a roller skate. How are they going to roller skate on wheelchairs? Did I have a stroke? Does it look and, and look at the this is not even edited look, look at the like mouth i had a stroke yes what so is the game volume too loud is it too loud oh my god i'll load it a little bit um so that night it does look like was, it pre previously that week kevin had tipped okay or said he had tipped oh and now and we're said, gonna talk oh, about this, this behind so the scenes I knew shit. the email address that was oh my be god for, for his tips like yeah i know the email address associated with his paypal account because he had already tipped before okay so then, when he tipped again, I wanted to confirm, and it was a completely different address and account. And I, that's when I said, now, he, if this was the truth, and if he was like, okay, you know, kind of telling the truth, okay, he's tipping under hey, hello, account. Renee. When you just said and that, hello, why would someone you else who said hello? That information and leave that? And never come I'm going to snipe you right now. <laughs> You're going back. Uh, yeah, Lancaster Jax, the big up, and JDX the kid. What's up, you guys? Welcome. It does not. PayPal does not, under any circumstance, show your full legal name unless number one. All right. Uh, unless you what? That information oh, you put PayPal it in. Two, you, you have to put it in DSV. You have to. They require. They require you to put it in. Set it up to show it. You have to actually actively have it show. Uh. Like right now. All right. If I were to send money from my PayPal account to somebody else. All it would say is you received a payment from and then my about to bust. His mouth is as crooked as his morals. Yeah, his morals are great. And you can see his mouth on the screen.
Actually, here it is. I have it for quick access. Mail address. For extra it. emphasis. It wouldn't show my name or anything. Yeah, it would. I have it set up. Now, is it possible to have it all set up the other way? Yes, it is, because here's the thing. Some people use PayPal to make payments on things like eBay. They make a transaction with PayPal. Oh, you're bullshitting, DSP. Like, Come right on. Away. So what you do is you put all... What you have is a business PayPal account, which makes it show your business name. So for him, it's probably not going to show fucking... Philip Burnell is going to show Dark Side Philip or this Burnell Productions. With an immune system so weak but yeah. He wear over the ear headphones and he wonders why people think what? he had a stroke. So weak. <laughs> oh yeah, and his uh he has allergies now. He has the all the back pain. He's it, it's almost impressive how how glitched he is. All your information into your PayPal so when you buy something with eBay Right? Then immediately someone knows where to send it, okay? I just like to blow money because I'm stupid. I don't know what else to say. So, yeah, the only way I would ever see anyone's personal information is if you set it up to send me your information, in which case that's your fault, right? Oh, Obviously, that's I don't your want anyone's personal info. I don't want to know your real name. I don't want to know where the hell you live. I don't care. I don't give, why would I give a shit about that? Hobo X says normal accounts cannot hide names. That's wrong. You can, When you register your PayPal account. Uh, it's so secret ridiculous. limited video. Which one? The, the Elden Ring one? I'm not going to be watching any Elden Ring that he talked about. Uh, the review or anything else. Because that's spoilers to me. And the, the last person I want to be spoiled by is fucking DSP. With his shitty ass gameplay. People are so still misinformed about this shit. When you create no, a you're, new PayPal account, you're literally right? lying to people. It's gonna ask for all of your personal information. You're yeah. gonna be sending funds through there. Of course they want to be sure you're real. It's not a scam and you're not laundering money or whatever. Okay. So they're gonna ask you for your name. They're gonna ask you for your address. They're gonna ask you for your Okay, so you should put it in. Payment information, like how are you gonna send money? They're gonna ask for a credit card. They're gonna ask for all that shit, okay? Yes, PayPal will always have that information. Why wouldn't they? But they're not gonna give that information to someone you send money to. That would be fucking an identity issue, man. That would be a, a complete Bro, safety issue. You could sue the shit out of them for they it. They literally you do. That if PayPal just decided one day we're gonna send out everyone's Bro. information who registered with us, it would be an insane class action lawsuit. They lose millions of dollars. Like, why do people believe this nonsense? I don't get the people are so gullible to believe the bullshit. Oh, he, the, what the fuck? Out, so. He's straight up acting like he's never got a tip. Like, what? Bro, it, it, he knows that. Other people get tips and can call them out. It's ridiculous. Seriously. I'll be the guy on level one. Wow, look at that mouth. It's down just here. Kind of, it, it almost looks edited, but I know it's not edited. Be a Keemstar. Oh, no, look at this. I would never want to be a Keemstar. All right, Alfred, if you contradict me one more time, I'm just going to ban you. I mean it. You should call me a liar. I fucking use PayPal, and when I send money, people don't get my name. So you're, in, you're an idiot. You have a business account, DSP. That's why. Yeah, people and people who have normal accounts, their names are visible. Dumb. You are wrong. I don't care if you think you're right. You're wrong. Just because you don't know how to use PayPal doesn't mean that you that I'm wrong. It means you're an idiot. Now stop being stupid and try to contradict me on my own stream. All right, Alfred, you're out of here, you dumb fuck. Seriously, he's just here to contradict me, so goodbye. Nice telling me to call me a liar. Yeah. All right, and, and he got oh, yeah. lean. Well, that really got you far calling me a liar, didn't it? He was okay. also asking people to buy him a PC. Band, band, like a, a really high-end PC. From thousands of children. From a thousands of children. The nose nose strap is connected to the pig face nose. The gout is connected to the foot. The pink mold is connected to the ear. Bro, it's all connected. He's like, from head to toe, he's covered. It's covered and chilled. Big ups, Omega Kirk. So it would really uh, be awesome if you could take a look at the new Super Thanks feature that is now oh, yeah. on DSP Gaming, where you can actually. Attack it would be it. nice like, if you look at it. Message. Is this begging for it now, though? Because it's 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 so Weasley. With a contribution uh, to a uh, video that would help. He's trying to cheese it. To anyone who considered doing yeah, it. Please uh, attract your attention to this button here that says Super Thanks, and when you press it, you can give me money. Big potato out the bus. I'm not allowed to be telling you this, but that's the best when you defeat an I'm enemy. I'm not saying it. I'm not actually ass. telling you this. The, the freshest. Yeah. You know they're all nice and warm and in between the cheeks. <laughs> you oh, know it's a nice okay. fresh butt potato coming out there. Just eat okay. it right away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? What? Like, come on. Energy. <laughs> Terrible. Nice. Fucking the scat segment. I'm the scat man. No one is talking right now, and I don't know why. It's completely wow. silent in the chat. Everyone's clammed up. I guess everyone's bored. To tears and falling asleep. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying oh, to like... <clears throat> but apparently you guys think otherwise. It's ridiculous. Quiet. Nightbot is talking more than the people here. That's pretty impressive. Oh no, the game's freezing up. Oh shit. Oh come on. The game froze up. 
and the game froze up. These Skyrim streams, I've never actually seen gameplay of Skyrim unless it's it's like unrecorded segment of somebody just uh, making him rant about something. It's ridiculous. He reminds me more and more of a ghoul mixed with a melting wax figure of himself more and more. Yeah, the melted candle. It's a melted candle, man. Blast, those wear bears wow, are gonna be there again. And it would be great uh, if we get for the super chat. It's pretty much frozen at this point. Uh, which is disappointing. I like doing these late night streams. They're, they're very chill fun. But, uh, melted wax figure. But that's because uh, when he doesn't pull the curtain, the, the sun hits him right in the face, man. It melts it away. And it ends up looking like this. Wow. Phenomenal. Some nights it's like crazy good, and other nights like we're not even close to the tier one tip skull tonight, right? Guys, last chance if you would like to. Oh, by the way, I say have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow for Street Fighter. Last chance if you'd like to support the stream. It sucks. There's another late night chill stream that for some odd reason support was pretty slow. Only for one some odd reason. Dollars in super chats, and we didn't even hear they hit the tier one tip skull. It should be great if you've been watching. Like, you get last minute contribution to help out. But if not, it is what it is. I still had a great time. Was great. I love playing Skyrim. Pro agent. Tonight, if you were going to contribute, he's asking how do I prefer any kind of contribution tips. Please tip me uh, tonight because tips have been slow on this stream for sure. I work six days a week. Over and, full and now it's just begging. I work overtime more hours. In the wow. Days that I stream than if I had a nine to five job. How? Currently, <laughs> what? 61 likes on the stream. This guy's ridiculous. Get that to 100 this, uh, these minutes. clips, these clips are great. We have over 200 people chilling on the stream. Hey, hello, if you're having fish. a good time, please give the stream a like. Okay. As for contributions. Well, I think you guys know, you see, we're $27, $6 in Super Chats and a membership. Absolutely, guys, if you enjoyed the chill night streams of Skyrim, please consider contributing. Right now, it's a very slow stream for any kind of support. So anything would help at this point. If you want to see some cool rewards hit, please consider tipping. Tipping is how we get those cool reward tiers. So if we raise $50 in tips, it'll be Gunner Glasses tonight. $100 in tips, a hat. $150 a vest. An hour in and only $27. I don't know if we're going to hit any of those goals. It would be great if we could, though. Oh, my God, he's drinking sperm. I hope. That you know, ongoing. Uh, uh, this one, this one gets me every time, and it's because of how stupid it is, and it, it's it's so stupid that it's absolutely hilarious. With this DLC, that we won't have always a slow night, and that's fine because last last time we did Skyrim, it was outstanding. Like support was ridiculously high, so I think it comes wow, and goes. That's, uh, that's funny. One night, three, man. Sudden, it'll that's be like Scotty Pippen. It won't be, and that's okay as long as it evens Skyrim. out. You know, I want to say thank you. Everyone was a great audience, great talking interactions tonight. It was really fun. Reminder for those who are continuously following uh, this oh, plotline. Or... Cat told Tyrone and I Phil has Bell's palsy. <laughs> yeah, uh, Tyrone comes by oh, sometimes. Mercy, I'm about to bust. Another night with a different game with low contributions. I don't know what's the same that could be causing the problem. My brain isn't broken. Yeah, you guys, I'm sitting here, I'm having fun, I'm chilling, interacting, you are loving it. Chat is being filled with messages of Nightbot and uh, and Kevin Bernstein, and there's some other guy in there, Rusty, whatever his name is. He's, he's also great. He sends some very high-quality engagement chat messages about, <laughs> about being able to tip DSP money and having to borrow from his parents. It's a, it's a great chat member. Rusty Edwards, yeah. A very wheelchair accessible individual. This plotline, this playthrough on YouTube on demand. Remember, you can help as well by liking the videos, leaving comments, super thanks, which are now on the videos. All those things can help as well. All right, guys. All right. Until next time. Awesome. All right, until Thank next you guys. time. I do drink. Let's uh, see the second latest one. Okay, we we skip the gameplay. What is he saying? Killing everything pretty, pretty divisively or decided, decidedly here. Please support this stream. We're at the home stretch at this point. All right. So please, if you can support the stream, whether it's a membership, a super chat, a super sticker, a tip, it's all awesome. Tips, obviously. If you want to see me put on a silly hat and a vest, and <laughs> this was later, uh, when he was fighting. I am going to tweet that Melania, we're back because I want right? to know that I'm back and I'm here till the, for the rest of the stream. Um, I think so. You know, without a break. I so think it says so. That. Okay. Why not do this during break? Because I was shitting. I was on the toilet shitting. Oh my was, god, my come wife. on. Uh, you know, I was doing things on break. I don't just cats, sit here like cats, an asshole chair on break doing nothing. I was so shitting. Genius. Why aren't you shitting in the morning? <laughs> yep, I'm toxic. Oh, yeah. This is terrible. Why would you use your break to only just take a shit? That's very inefficient. See? Like that. And... Now I'm dead. Yeah. I forget the day. Trying to experiment. Cheese it again. DSP cheeses it. 
Now we skip the gameplay. And I think he got destroyed in Street Fighter, but I'm not sure. Let's see this one. You should be grateful for what you get and stop acting like you're something special. You ain't hot. Oh, and his member has dropped again. You're fucking shit. You're shit. And Jose's already in here to ruin it. See, I told you guys we were trying on PlayStation this week. We wanted to see how it would go. And three matches in fucking Jose's in the lobby to ruin it. Three matches in. So that's it. So this is what it's going to be. Every every time I play this now on PlayStation, it's going to be this fucking Jose idiot doing this every time. So just, it doesn't seem like you can even get yeah, away Jose from Jose loves to do that. Come on here. He's the, so he's the okay. highlight. I'll switch lobby. I'll switch lobby. I'll he switch lobby. He loves Jose. Basically, wait, we're sitting around waiting like an asshole half the night. You know, it sucks. Oh my god, he's drinking sperm. Go blow his what stuff up. He's doing he's doing what? That didn't make any sense when he just did it. It doesn't work. Whoa, that's bullshit. All right, let's move on to the latest one. Complaining about low support. Oh, and a fundraiser for PC. But this, uh, this I would rather watch the Kate Army Watch clip on that. I'm not sure exactly which one it was, but let's start with this one, okay? We let's assume we we caught up already on on this quality content. All right, guys. So we are roughly halfway through tonight's stream. I'm going to be streaming till between 9:15 to 9:30 tonight, just so you guys know. Thank you for chilling with me now. Thank you to all those who have supported this stream. I appreciate it. As you can see, support is super low, ridiculously low. Now, what ridiculously low. Holy shit! This is the main daytime stream. If I can't get more than six dollars on a night stream, that's right? ridiculous. Right? <laughs> ridiculous, bro. He should. I don't know what he should do at this point. Just do reaction videos. This is you. You can't do this. You can't do this and humiliate yourself every day like this, having to tweet out stuff. No. Just do reaction videos all the time. Just admit you're a hypocrite and do it, and it's gonna bring you more money. And eventually, that's gonna run out of steam, and you're gonna go back to gaming. And it's gonna be the special DSP goes back to being a gamer event. And he's gonna be like 65 at that point. More like 50, I guess. <sighs> now we're gonna get a, a text to speech tweeting. Oh, yeah, here we go. Lord have mercy, I'm about to burst. Phil better start pushing that parking parking. Gotta push that P. Uh, big ups to James Ham for uh, Super Chat. Speaking of pushing P, that, that performance on uh, SNL was absolutely terrible. It was one of the funniest shit I've seen. Look at this. Again, this stream is in jeopardy of being the slowest supported of the year. Look how much hype he creates. Whoa, look. Come watch if this is gonna be the lowest supported stream. Drama, drama, drama. And you know, the trolls look at this and then they jump on and they go in chat. And they're like, Phil, you made only $6 today. Where is the support? And then he gets toxic and bans them, and it's a vicious cycle. And it never stops because he can't break it. A night stream, I've tried rotating it around. He's uh, rotating. First, like, game was super what is it? Basketball coach? I don't know what happened. Bro, you it's not that hard. If you have any amount of talent, I guess, then you shouldn't be able to rely solely on everything else, such as the games and rich people coming to bail you out of your misery. When I was doing it in, in, in January all month, just go react to shit. Nice, you know, all of a sudden, like recently, I can't get any support on fucking Skyrim. I just don't understand it. <clears throat> all right, we're having a good time, uh, uh, right? That's an interesting we idea. Are. If uh, DSP visits a piece of piece, uh, a tips tracker, that that would be interesting. So he can track his own uh, uh, income. That would be interesting. That would help him a lot with the taxes. It's chill. It's fun. It's interactive. But then you also got to count the behind the scenes contributions and then it gets even more calculations. I just don't get it, man. Tripe, thank you for a tip. $1.69 tip. Appreciate that. Also, thank you, Gray Fox. It looks like great. Oh, a couple of uh, other. Hold on a second here. Okay, Go let's pro. let's count it up. Did let's a count it up. Use a touch Still tip it. Palm. What? What? 
I have no idea what that means, Little Crow. I missed your super chat, but I have no idea what that means, but thank you for the chat. Gray Fox has uh, re-upped his membership for four months. And he wants to know about tips for removing pubic hair. Uh, weed whacker okay. usually works. The only problem is that also removes your your actual... Is that how you shave? ...in its entirety, so Probably. you have to be careful. Looks yeah. like it. Okay. All right, what do we want to do next, everybody? We got, according to the map... Chill Benefaction, if you think it's funny that I only raised $32 tonight, why don't you get the fuck out? Why don't you get the fuck out? No, I mean, why don't you get the fuck out? The next bankruptcy <laughs> or when the horse leaves you. Bro, yeah, they should uh, get him, like, an MTV crew that would film anything. It's like the Kardashians, but with Phil. The Burnells. That would be hilarious. But hold on, like, he, he told somebody to, like, <laughs> go fuck himself and go away. <laughs> what do you do next, everybody? Become so mad with Kirk for uh, a super chat. Chill bit of faction. Imagine, maybe he can make a show where they put a GoPro on his head. And, I don't know, I guess it's going to give a lot of people motion sickness. Because he's going to be wobbling all the time. But it's going to be interesting to see a day in the life of DSP. From from the point of view of DSP, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Imagine sitting there looking at that camera. Uh, we did... We, we made only like six dollars today. Damn. If you think it's funny that I only raised thirty-two dollars tonight, why don't you get the fuck out? No, why don't I mean, you get like the fuck laughing. out? Like it's a joke in the chat. It is a joke. Like, oh, ha ha ha! Thirty-two dollars. Ha ha ha! How about ha ha ha? Goodbye forever. Ha ha ha! You got banned. Ha ha ha! That'd be really funny, huh? What a grandpa. Who's that with the guy's name? There's a guy's name? Oh, there was a guy named that? that stream a like. We did not hit the 100 likes goal, sadly. We had over 200 no, no. likes the entire stream, but... Oh, no, we failed the likes goal again. Like the stream for some odd reason. This, it, 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 it's so... It's... I don't know, man. He's like a 40-year-old man. And the saying, we didn't hit the likes goal, is kind of cringe. <clears throat> don't really understand. What this also kind of cringe. Point, just being honest pretty easy to just click like pretty um, easy what if they don't like it what if that's their way to express that they want you to do something better than play skyrim without any mods thank you to anyone who contributed in any way but thanks anyway solid dwarven metal thing for the top tip of the night for slayer also with a very generous tip and a few other people but thanks yeah big up slayer chat as well. is he still saving up for a car was that somebody else all right so guys thank you everyone great stream thanks to everyone who supported everyone who interacted I had a good time. Thanks Remember, for everyone who interacted. Update, Skyrim moving forward is going to be a day stream. Why? Starting later this week on Friday. Why? Okay? So <laughs> what? We're watching this stream as a late night stream. But we're not <laughs> Why would you do that? Right it is going to move Why? to streams. Why? Skyrim came out like a million years ago. Best. Phil could start selling fate picks to Derich. Uh, no. Come on. You don't want a, a gout put pick. I mean, maybe the, fucking Derek. Yeah. Derek. Derish. But he doesn't have money. His parents don't even let him use the credit cards anymore. Maybe not permanently, but at least for a week or two as we kill some time until other big new releases come out, of which there's none of right now. Right now I'm doing downtime stuff pretty much, so. <laughs> downtime <Okay>. stuff. <laughs> but this is a terrible idea, the day stream. Lord, no, he knows the night stream is trash. For some odd reason is the new hint, hint, hint. Yeah, he's been doing for some odd reasons. I think around the time the vest streak was a thing. When he was like, oh, I don't know, man, for some reason we might not hit the vest tonight and it all might be over. This statement of our perseverance as a community. He actually said something like this, which is hilarious. Always a reminder those watching on demand, the playthrough continues. Please consider liking the videos, leave comments, maybe do a super thanks. All no, that I don't stuff think else, so. All right. Thank you guys so much. Until all right, next let's... time. Okay, there was another one uh, that was good. Let's see the one with stockpiling trash. This this was Days off, something. No, it's on my day off. It was it's not something. Really a day off. My the day, day off, off is not a day off. Shit. It's day. It's a. It's another day of work. Tomorrow my Doing day a off. a bunch I of shit. You see how how much overblown it is. Shopping. I have to do yes. supply shopping. I okay. Have to run to the dump, and there's something else okay. I have to do too. There's four big things I have to do on my day off. I can't just sleep. I have shit to do. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I don't know why this is so fucking funny to me. This is uh, amazing. Now he's just reading chat, just sitting there reading chat. Allergies for good? I don't know. I don't no. know the science behind it. 
No, so not his. Like his his medical issues never go away. And the ear infections, they're gonna be back someday. Because he's picking his ears all the time. <clears throat> Speaking of which, I have a juicy screenshot about this. Why do I go to the dump so often? I don't. I probably go to the dump every two to three months. I'll do a run. And every once in a while, we got some backed up stuff. Like we did some cleaning. Uh, it actually was in the fall. We did some cleaning of the house and we got a bunch of shit that we threw out, but I, didn't, I, I can't throw it out. I'm serious. Like we have so limited garbage removal here in Washington state. You can't even throw it out. You got to go to the dump. So what's happened is I've had a bunch of shit in the garage that I want to throw out and I can't. So I have to make dump runs over a course of several months to get it out of there. Okay. And then, you know, it's a pain in the ass. It is a pain in the ass. Then you had, you we had ants. He had ants like what, two weeks ago. And he was wondering why. <laughs> and this was all a whole saga and bullshit. These minor inconveniences. Oh, let's just go through it. I can't. Here in Washington, you can't just throw wow. anything out. You this life is so hard. Every two weeks. That's what you get. You can go to the dump any fucking day. And outside of that, Holy you can go shit. to the dump. That's how it is. Ridiculous. <clears throat> and this is supposed to be an adult. And you know when you're a kid, they teach you that adults have responsibilities and they don't complain like a child. And they just do what they have to do for the, you know, because they're mature and they don't bitch about shit. And then you grow up and you see somebody like this. Oh, if it's a West Coast thing or not, like, I know huh? that Washington is considered a green state. This man is kidnapping so children. They, they, they this man is kidnapping children. You're trash. You're supposed to be separating. Anything that's biodegradable. Oh, this is such a fucking non-segment. What is he saying in this? How? I, mean, I exactly. hate this fucking bullshit day off stories. This is what they want you to do in Washington State. Have three to four trash cans around at all times to sit there and pick your shit apart. Oh, is this banana peel? Oh, that's biodegradable. That goes into this can. Oh, but the plate I had the banana on, that goes into this can. What's this? Oh, it's plastic recyclable. That goes into this can. All right. <laughs> and if you have any trash, Outside of the of the one can every two weeks, you have to go to the dump and pay to, to throw it out yourself. You have to haul your shit to the dump and do it. And you know, let me tell you, I have okay. a cat with litter that we change frequently. Oh and, my god, this is you know, like disgusting, I said, anytime bro. that we, we, we clean something in the but house. Why why are you like, telling me these stories that make you look like a fucking idiot? <laughs> like a man baby. Cause they're he's talking to you that he has a bunch of fucking cat litter in his garage that smells like shit and it's a big problem and he has to complain about it it's fucking Last ridiculous year, our vacuum broke so we got okay. a new one and i still haven't thrown out the old vacuum oh no so okay still have it in the garage busted okay you know, stupid as shit you, know, you can't throw stuff out i don't know what <laughs> this is also a good clip the empty stare into obs and then and then clown mode uh let's see something else oh yeah the members Twitch and Snow Carl. I was uh, I was watching this. I think it was last night. This, it, it wasn't last night. I don't know. I'm I'm fucked up. Really, I don't have much else to talk about. If you take a look at this right here, you're gonna see it's not very good. We went down again in members. Again, he ranted about a really good old boys club last night. Actually, not last night, but yesterday day stream. Assets and and and. How dare I speak in European time? For you to become a member, including. Being able to control members the are 384, very healthy, very organic. Time that I do DSP react, like, <clears throat> excuse me. You'd be able to vote on if you either want to see me react to the very first. This is how you don't play video, or if you want to see me react to the John Rambo and Howard video. I mean, that's pretty. Bro, you're pretty still pushing choices. that. And Come on, you still haven't realized that this is a terrible fucking idea. Still. Come on. Choose between the two. You don't think about this stuff any more outside of just initially coming up with the idea. And lock into that. It's a terrible idea to do it. It's just a bunch of drama that the people hate you for. And happening is a pretty good thing. Why you wouldn't want to become a member, I have no idea. Really, I just don't know at this point besides, oh, I just don't like YouTube. Okay, I get it, but I'm on YouTube. I'm not going back to Twitch. To this day, people still ask me to go back to Twitch. No, stupid. I mean, at this point, I have to say no, stupid. It's been a year. Every time you ask me, I say no, and you still ask. It's just you're at this point. You're just dumb. 
It's one thing if you thought, okay, maybe Phil will change his mind. It's been a year. After He's literally calling his fans stupid. This it, and he has no self awareness that he's calling his own fans stupid. Oh, people in my chat come asking me every day, Phil, are you gonna do this? No, you fucking idiot. To me, if I'm going back, to it's so like toxic for no reason. Twitch and expecting me to. What is happening behind the scenes? What what is this toxicity? Go back to Twitch and say, oh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be a member of Phil's because I like Twitch. It's the dumbest thing I've heard. What? <laughs> really, at this point, it's like, it's time to move on from Twitch, really. <clears throat> Twitch sucks. Because you're not there. But YouTube also sucks. This is the, the thing. I think it's in this one. YouTube Which also just sucks. Professional place to do and then Snow Carl sucks. And then Zoya sucks. With core the same person. But we're going to find out in the end of the episode business and i'm not going to take my even though we've known all along come on the writing isn't that good business over there ever again nobody ever claimed there was not unless they completely route from the ground just up just a carrot on a stick and they change their whole business strategy and the way that they do things i'm not going to be on an unprofessional website that at a whim they they say you did something wrong you never did they prove no no evidence that you did anything and then you get punished for it it's my fucking job no i'm not going to lose money and not be able to pay my bills and support my family because they're a bunch of unprofessional fucking dickwads over there. They can go to hell. I'm never going back over there. By the way, the professional person calls a, the, his former place of business unprofessional dickwads. This is to express how professional he is, you see. <clears throat> so... Hey, what's up, uh, Suda Monica? Please consider becoming a member. All right. We're begging for Please members now. It. Please so consider many benefits, it. So I've many considered awesome it, things, but it, and I it's hope that always you will now. Consider it. If you have not, it's not good that we are bleeding members. To be honest, We're bleeding members. Not, you know, I, the consistent support is a good sign. When it goes away like this, it's not a good sign. But I'm, I, I don't. You guys aren't giving me any other ideas either of what I could really do. I've basically tried to figure out as much as I could possibly provide. And I've done it. I've done as much as I can provide with these uh, perks and everything. Um, the problem is YouTube. The problem is YouTube drags their feet and don't add enough benefits, you know? Um. <clears throat> so this is where the segment YouTube sucks begins. This is where it starts. Until now, it was Twitch sucks, YouTube sucks, and then Snow Carl sucks. So, by the way, I'm going to say this too. Every time that someone gets banned in this chat for a good reason, a bunch of people whine and complain and cry about it. That's going to end today. If someone gets banned in the chat, it's none of your... <laughs> Incredible segment. This is a great segment. I remember I watched that. Business-wide. Great segment. It could be a moderator who knows something from behind the scenes that you don't. It could be that they just did a blatant insult like that guy just did. It could be any reason. It's not your business. Seriously, it's not. And I'm not going to sit here and have people sit here and be like, oh, no, another person's banned. Another per Shut up. Because if you do it, you're next. I'm just not putting up with it anymore. There is an what a massive call. What a massive call. And he calls the trolls a cult. What is this? Everybody who questions now, if you if you question the mods, you're getting banned. This chat. Holy shit! What if the mods are retarded, as we know they are? That has pervade pervaded for the last few months. What Everyone's if they're just degenerate? Like weird mentality of oh, this chat is so bad, and everyone get banned at any moment, and it's not true. It I'm is true. Very lenient. I mean, take a look at fucking Zoya. Who is Zoya gives you money though? And poking and doing Zoya gives him a lot of money, and he knows it. Insulting stuff to me for months, and I let them sit there for months before I took any action. I'm lurking and I'm stopping. Right, I couldn't be further from the truth, and I really am tired of the shit. I'm just I'm trying to have a good pre-stream, and you got idiots in there doing nasty stuff, insulting you got me. Idiots. And I'm not gonna put up with it. It's my right. <laughs> but you're being toxic to right care. now. And if I see people sitting there, oh no, he's gone. Well, you're gone too. Now I don't have to listen to any of it. Now I can just concentrate on my own fucking business and product and have a good time with the people and who want to be here. even during this toxic as fuck segment, and and this it. chat is still going on slow as fuck. Insult me, all right? So I'm done with it. If I see it, you're gone. That simple. And I'm not even going to say anything about it. I'm just going to go boop, 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 and continue on. There's not even going to be an interruption in the stream content. It's just going to keep moving, okay? You're having an interruption right now and it's pretty significant and it probably made a lot of people is that toxic. definitely 
this air of, oh, uh -huh. if a moderator does absolutely anything on DSP stream, what? we have to completely question what oh, now really we're happened. talking in absolutes. Now we're talking about everything completely, absolutely, and, totally. And see if it was justified. Oh, yes. No. What if it was justified, though? That's not your what job, if it wasn't nor is it your responsibility, nor is it your right. It's my business in my stream. I make the decision. But you're terrible at your business. That why you have to beg for tips. Why should I fucking trust you? you? When people are getting banned on random or for stupid reasons or by stupid people. So it's not your part here to sit here and say, oh, no, someone got banned. Maybe it's unfair. No, it's not unfair. It's my not stream, unfair. I can do whatever I want. All right. If you got a problem with it fine email me behind the scenes what? say hey what happened or hey i got banned i don't think it was right I am well, this is fucking ridiculous like frequently constantly every day i usually get a message or two saying hey something happened i'm not sure why i was banned can Can't i get question unbanned? anything and nine times out of ten i do unban the person which is why you see some people <clears throat> who are banned and then they come back back i'm very lenient in that regard i am I'm, I, I try to be a nice guy and i try to give everyone uh the benefit of the doubt and even in a case like someone like Zoya, who, by the way, was Snow Carl and had a new name. And I yeah, knew the it. mask everyone came knew off. It. Everyone knew it was fucking Snow Carl. Everyone knew it. I tried to be it. very nice. And I tried to give them another opportunity to maybe reform and change that. You know, maybe they've improved. They were giving you money, you stupid ass. That's why they stayed. Come on. For the better, right? Come on. You always got to give someone a second chance in life. I always feel about, feel that way. Oh, okay. yeah. But I've How just many chances do you got? this ongoing vein of oh every oh. single time a moderator does anything here we are all going to gang up against the moderator act like the moderator's in the wrong oh no woe is me a stream chatter got moderated no i'm not putting up with that anymore okay i'm seriously because i'm it's pervading the stream what are you gonna do about it you're gonna ban more people and create more toxicity <laughs> and i'm not gonna have people who want to be uh, here okay. now feel like they're not <clears throat> welcome in a chat because it's like a kind of us versus them mentality bullshit what it Seriously, is though. Bullshit. Uh, what about what about the vest being an, an icon of, of perseverance for his community? Come on, it isn't us versus them. That's your main selling point, stupid. Did you forget? That's how you brainwash people. And now it's not us versus them. It's I, just us. I don't care if you don't like. <laughs> it's just us because they get banned. Me and you want to come and still hate watch my content, but you're not allowed to ru ruin my fucking stream chat. Okay. So it's that simple, all right? Um, if, if I see it, you're gone. If I see something insulting, stupid, uh, oh no, why did someone get banned? That's completely unfair, you're gone too. I'm, just, I'm not allowing it anymore. Enough of this fucking toxic the feeling best. in the chat. Where is John Done. and Howard's second chance? Let this be your fault. The ball is in their court. He sent him a lot of messages, quote unquote, probably. I don't know. He said, uh, he said he didn't change his number so they can call him anytime. They can hit him up for a playthrough. This is the end of all of that baloney, all right? Enough of that, that bullshit. Especially today, I don't feel good, and I'm toughing through not feeling oh, he's good to Elden Ring and review it. And I'm going to see this bullshit in the chat. You're out. You're gone. So allow this to be me laying down the law and giving he's you laying the down rules. the law again. No, it's not allowed anymore. Don't do it. You do it. You're gone. No exceptions. Okay. Why do I get the feeling a bunch of people are about to be banned today and then I'm going to have to unban them all overnight? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I'm sure. Wiley says DSP Wings Chat is actually hell on earth compared to this chat. I'm very sure it is. <laughs> yeah, Wings Chat but is. That's what uh, I mean, like, they're more lenient. Come on. Since I came to you. And it's more fun. YouTube. In, you know, in the last year. I completely moved my business over from Twitch to YouTube. We made a lot of changes and we put a lot of hard work into making my streams feel like they're a place you can relax, enjoy games and feel welcome, appreciated and safe. I don't want that to change now because there's this stupid good old boys mentality starting up again in the chat. Well, just... How can people be appreciated and all that bullshit when you single out people all the time and you talk shit about them? And you call them idiots and stupid and you call abstract groups of your fucking fan base stupid because they ask you a question. Come on, how can everybody feel accepted? When people feel accepted in a the community, they're not afraid to ask questions or question that something is going on that, is, that might be wrong. Just not putting up with it. Oh, excuse me. You're not excused. This is terrible. <clears throat> 
It, it's almost like passive aggressive. Burping. Of course, you say you kind of have an idea of who's causing the trouble, so I don't blame you for enforcing demands. You, you know who they are. I mean, come on. You know if you're them. regular. You see them every fucking day doing it, right? Every fucking day, and they get away with I it. They get it. away with it, and then they think, oh, well, because I got away with it a million times because Phil's lenient and nice. I'm just gonna keep doing it and keep making this chat shittier and shittier. No, not anymore. <clears throat> oh. Okay. <clears throat> Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Just us for Harambe. Hey, big old Smith Bear. Just us for Harambe. Go okay. blow his stuff Same up. Same guy came back with a sock account. He's gone again. Stupid big idiot. Big for Harambe. Now, uh, I don't know what else. DSP lost 20 members. This is probably going to be the same rant as the, the one with the members already. Because that shit is just, like, unbearable. I think Blooper had a cool video. Uh, about... Uh, unrecorded stream. I think it was this one. Or maybe now, I've seen this? Guys, I really hope tonight, if you can, come out for the Oh, no, I think... Let's go and, uh, and watch Daily Rap. And maybe after that, I'm gonna look at that X Mortis video, maybe. But I don't know if I'm gonna watch all of it. Let's see what this is. Conclusion, the trek to Yomi, my allergies suck. I'm not fucking watching this. This is terrible. Oh, I clicked it accidentally. Holy shit. This sucks. Uh, what is happening here? Big conclusion. And where's the review? He supposedly uploaded a review about it. Elden Ring, big conclusion. The end cometh and gauntlet rage and ending. And ridiculous stuff. Final amulets, weapons. Well, oh my god, the clickbait! Look at how pathetic this is! And I'm not gonna click it because fuck him. I'm not gonna give him the click. I'm gonna be petty as fuck this time. Why Why Elden Ring is not a perfect 10? An honest review. After 122 hours, this is how it's fucking called. Pathetic clickbait. And not even a thumbnail for it. This is how fucking hype this review is. 122 hours and this is his review. It's a shitty fucking clickbait like it's ko gaming i ain't gonna be fucking watching this fuck him and what else we got and that's it with the elden ring the hypest game ever now he's playing what is this halo infinite season two gameplay very nice with a generic title with the the game and date in part one fucking nice nice level one look at this fucking garbage the down the rabbit hole final fantasy look at the the fucking face on the thumbnail his uh his new twitter picture is actually ridiculous and what else do we got here late stream audible since xbox is down dsp reacts go fuck yourself let's watch a impromptu q a man all these videos were uploaded in the last two days holy shit this guy is all right, ladies and gentlemen, some impromptu Q&A. We still have Let's about watch some impromptu Q&A, and then probably I'm going to fall asleep, and that's going to be it. 30 to 40 minutes left on my stream oh, today. I, say. I finished Lego Star Wars early, which I thought I actually would, because I knew I only had uh, the final movie to do. Okay. And now we're going to have... Did he give Elden Ring a score? Did he give it a 9.64 out of 11? Let's open Q&A with people on the stream and chat it up a little bit and see what people want to talk about, Okay. Darkness says, am I going to play the Game Pass games eventually like Bass Masters? Uh, I th I'm sure we'll get to them eventually. The thing is... Okay, this doesn't work. It, he can't not give it a score. Because he just spent weeks ranting about uh, reviews having to be objective. And that people trust you on what you say. And sometimes people just look at the score and base their whole opinion about the score. And then he doesn't give it a score. Come on, DSP. So your, your review is not valid, it's not proper, because it's not objective, obviously, because there isn't a score to it. We're in a week of- It's a, it's a not 10, that's true, it's a not 10. It's anything else but a 10. Finishing up Very tons nice. of content. This and it can be many other things, it could be nine other things. I finished. But you have to click the video to, to guess how much it is. Just think about this past week, holy crap. I finished the- What happened this DLC. past week? 
We finished I Am Fish. We just finished Lego. Star I Am War. Pig. We're going to finish two more games in the next couple of days. And then what we got to do is sit down and say, what's next in regards to content? This morning on the pre-stream podcast, I talked a little bit about options for main game playthroughs. Because right now, all I've got is WWE 2K22 starting. And we have options. What I can do is I can start a new game, like a horror game or something else. We could rotate out and have Skyrim become a daytime stream. Now we have more time for night streams. And we have more time for night streams. Now we have more time to try stuff at night. So we got to see what happens this Bro, week. Bro, get to want. the fucking point. Get to the answering question point. Okay. What the fuck is this bullshit? It's like tweaking. Sequel Abe says, regarding super thanks. I'm getting bored. I got to take more dabs. Because he got claimed by somebody. Uh, but my biggest legacy videos have super thanks on. If you had suggestions like, oh, during that four and a half year window, this playthrough, this playthrough. Yeah, then maybe if you have suggestions, send them my way. And I can maybe look into going to manual videos and enabling the comments on them. But there, sadly, there's no blanket way to do it, which really sucks. <clears throat> yes, Dying Light 2 is pretty much dead darkness. Pretty much no one wants to see it at this point. I mean, it's from February. We're in May. And most people just don't care about the game anymore. It's completely dead. I mean, let's be honest here. The game was completely dead as soon as other new releases in February. All right, this gets a skip. This was probably a terrible idea. Loving all the varied content What's lately, Phil. Come on. You have it when you start to be a troll. You kind of spoiled the narrative, right? Well, I ever what are we talking about? Game? Twisted Game Metal, we do not care. Talk about taxes and bills and how tough what life I is. Watched anyone play was Dragon Quest 1, which was called oh, Dragon Quest 1 gets skipped. More like KO Gaming 1. Even get components or whatever. I mean, obviously, the easiest method is a pre build. The easiest method is finding a pre build. Oh, a pre-build, okay. Getting it ready to go. That way I'll only oh, to... PC. Let's talk about PC. Let's talk PC. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, like back back in the day, there were some JRPGs that were kind of boring. Oh, my God. JRPGs. This is a terrible thing. Everyone... Not even, like, timestamps or something. And he doesn't have fans to write timestamps for the different questions. Because back in the day when he used to do Q&As, he put timestamps for every question. And it was really nice. I actually gave him credit for that when I watched his Ask, Ask the King. Because he bothered. Because that shit is not that hard to do. You already know what you said in the stream. You can just go and click across and write the timestamp. But not even this. So we don't know if he's going to talk about JRPGs or he's going to talk about PCs. But some of them just aren't as riveting as others, right? The... Let me open the transcript. Probably sick. that's gonna hold. PC on stream, it's easier than the early 2000s. Oh yeah, yeah, building a PC on stream. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be like the the Verge trying to build a PC. That video that everybody mocked. Is it? Is it just like boop 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 done building everything? I don't know how I would do that unless I re rearrange my whole area here. Like if I move the camera and mic and everything, because obviously I can't do it here on my lap. I don't have. Okay, so we already can't do it here to build it. It wasn't even an idea until somebody said it right now, and we we can't do it. Um. Unless maybe what I could do is get a, a several folding tables. Oh yeah, several folding tables. Next to me, and try we're gonna to buy tables. Here, maybe. Uh huh. I don't know. Again, it depends. Okay. It's, it's we're not even too close to that stage. No, yet. you're not doing it. Just decide how I can even get components or whatever. I mean, obviously, the easiest method is a pre-built. The easiest method is finding a pre-built, ordering it, and just getting it ready to go. That way, I only have to worry about installing the programs I need, setting them up again. Like I, I get the feeling resetting up obs and relearning obs because i've been using the same version relearning of obs, OBS. Really oh my time. god so come on grandpa up. grandpa you've been doing this for 14 years come on learn this program when it has a new version you gotta relearn obs it's the same shit it's the same shit it just sometimes has more features that are better to use if you care about learning how to use them. All new, I'm going to have to do all the shit over again. Oh, yeah, we got to do everything over That's again. That's going to be a pain in the ass, I feel. He's talking about like he he's, has to code OBS, has to program OBS. Come on. It's the same shit. It's not even Streamlabs OBS. The normal OBS studio looks pretty streamlined and easy to use. Um... And you can export and import all your stuff all the time. Come on. But how? And it all, that's, that's the thing that pissed me off. It's all a YouTube video away from learning how to do it. It's ridiculous. I mean, what are the chances I'm going to get a pre-built? pre, pre are expensive, especially today when the components are so scarce, right? Um, it could be a daunting task to be able to afford one. 
So it would have to be like, you know, several streams of raising funds. <laughs> several raise fundraising $1, streams. Buy a good pre bill That would be my new capture streaming rig, you know? <clears throat> I don't know. We have to talk about it. How was Din Din? There is no Din Din. I mean, I'm having dinner. And the thing is that he requires such a, like an expensive thing for somebody to buy him. And he shows absolutely no desire to learn how to use it and to make the the person who bought it, their, the money that they spend means something and have some value to it. No, he's going to take a fucking PC that can do a lot more shit that he wants to do and he's going to use it for shitty ass fucking let's plays <laughs> and not learning obs or editing videos or setting up a more interactive and fun and colorful and chill stream to the people who said they would give me a pc contact me recently there was no one who outright said they were going to buy me a pc that never happened last year what happened is last summer a lot of people were very generous and they wanted to help me out because they saw that a lot of my shit around me was falling apart and I couldn't afford to own it. Yeah, they bought a laptop, so the chair. Someone donated a new laptop because my last laptop was on its like last legs. Someone donated this chair. He's talking about this like he was homeless before that. Like he, he was sitting on the floor or something. Okay. Someone donated an Xbox Series X. Wow. It was a lot of donations, which is very nice. And it's like there was like a GoFundMe for this. No, this was individual people that bought him this shit to spoil the old man. I get Look at all these presents I got. I upgraded my setup. Now, while all that was happening, there was a few other people behind the scenes who contacted me and said, hey, we're willing to help you with a new PC, whether it's you want to build your own or, you know, get one. Uh, you know, we'd, we'd be willing to step up and help. And at that point, I basically told those people, there's about three or four people actually behind the scenes who I had spoken with about it. <clears throat> and I was like, I appreciate it. But at that point, it made absolutely, positively, no sense whatsoever to do it because... I had so many games that were coming out and hot games that were happening. And at that point, I thought maybe I would do it near the end of the year, but then what ended up happening? February and March happened, which was some of the busiest gaming times we've ever had. So I didn't want to mess with it till we got to a point of downtime. Now we are actually finally hitting that point of downtime. Right now it's happening. It's about to start, okay? okay. Excuse me. Wow, so, no, 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 no. This not, this doesn't work. That being said, no, no, no. Um, Holy shit, come on. You can't you can't not be able to to hold it in. It's not possible. So far I've spoken at least to one person. Okay. And that one person said that they have components that they would be able to, to donate, a few components. Okay. Um, so you gotta put them up although, together uh, and then install Windows and then install all the software you need. And then wonder why something doesn't work properly because you didn't assemble it properly. And then have a bunch of streams when where he's asking to refund this and for somebody to buy him an actual full PC. And eventually that happens. This is my prediction. Admittedly, when they said this to me, I was like, I don't even know what those components are. Like, I don't know if they're good or not or if they're good enough for what I need to do. I have no idea. I'm not, you know, I haven't looked into it yet. You didn't ask? The way I see it is... You didn't ask about the expensive thing people wanted to give you for free? Absolutely for nothing in return? Start you didn't ask. What is this cool thing you want to give me? No, that didn't happen. This <laughs> you literally didn't ask them. Right? Elden Ring will finally be done. All these l lingering playthroughs will be done. Now we're heading into new content. WWE and whatever else I choose to play alongside it. New late night chill content. And this is essentially downtime content. This is not giant high profile new release shit. So now we can sit down and start to talk. All of us on streams and everything. We can have discussions about what is it I'm looking for for a modern PC. What's the strength of a processor I need? What kind of a GPU am I looking for? Oh my and god, I don't no. Know any of these answers. No. Gonna for a We're going to have an interactive education segment when DSP chat members are going to tell DSP what what to pick, how to pick his fucking PC. This is the worst PC in 8 years. So I need to talk with you guys and we have to hash it out. Talk with you CJ. guys. Wow. Out of uh, you know, out of the this is terrible stuff i hate that's this available to me things that have already been offered to be donated and maybe i could do some street fundraising streams or maybe just fundraise to buy a pre-built that has everything i need i don't know we'll i get absolutely there. despise this We're segment just on the edge of getting to that point <laughs> the massive okay. entitlement man and he shows like no no excitement to like you know because they're effectively buying him a toy 
that he's gonna use because he's excited about it right it's a it's a toy he's gonna use he's a he's a pc buff in a, a tech buff and he has no excitement about actually playing with the toy it's just yeah i, I just need it to like do stuff so I've but talked, make it as easy as possible give it to me for free what one person who said they have a few components they can donate but i don't know if it's really what i don't I know do. anything okay okay <clears throat> okay donkey kong's furry ding dong just hit me $25 and one cent and says, ever consider putting Big Brother with the King where you live, have live cameras in every room of your house and watch your entire life? Okay. Well, first of all, I'm not putting that name on my leaderboard. That's ridiculous. That's what I said earlier. And Don't somebody Kong. sent a super chat saying it. Furry ding dong. You're going to have a, you a reality show. That would be pretty cool. Thank you for the tip. That gets us to the tier one tips goal for today, which is excellent because it was insanely slow for Star Wars earlier, and I appreciate that. Let me get the gunner glasses on for you, okay? Now- Get those glasses on. Flap them on. At one- I realized I could skip through this. What is this? Would allow me to have more filming space- to Oh yeah, show. filming like, space. Let's talk about that. Connecticut, you guys- My setup, right? Like, I- Now. At one point, back when I lived in Connecticut, essentially every day you guys saw my setup right like i would tell you guys what i was yeah doing. the camera with the lot, tv very frequently i toured my house right yeah so basically all the statues you guys kind of for, for views by the way it's so, not because he loved us so much it's for views because he wanted to make views out of everything he did so he wanted to literally walk around the house and make views and he did when i first moved here I actually was doing frequent vlogs and things around the house. Remember, I would do things in my kitchen. I would do things in the in the dining room, uh, videos, you know, in different rooms and stuff. And actually, originally, when I first moved here, it was my intention that moving to a bigger home would allow me to have more filming space to do different series and projects. I actually was thinking about doing a gaming news show. Oh, I was going to have sit in front of a desk in my garage with a green screen. And I was going to do gaming news every day. All right. That was one of the ideas I had. Um, what ended up happening was after i moved here for some odd reason a lot of the attitude about me on the internet changed a lot of toxic people came out of the woodwork to make my life a living hell oh, okay and essentially every the time i put out a video in my house okay. i get it, it was about let's micro analyze everything in the yeah because you lie about stuff toxic shit about phil yeah I'm phil lies about stuff and then people say phil why did you lie about this and then phil says um what does he even say I guess that he was depressed. That was my depression. Wow, this was loud as fuck. This man is kidnapping children. People literally saying things like, oh, Phil streams and every day he asks for contributions on his Yeah, stream, you do. But he has a $300 coffee maker. Actually, they lied. They actually said it was like a $500 <laughs> what? coffee maker. But it was. Like, they looked it up. Come on, DSP. In my kitchen. They actually said things like that. Like, what? So, it came to a, it came to a point where it was like, I like sharing everything about my life with everyone on the internet, and now I completely regret it. I do. Because as much as I had fun doing it, it ended up becoming so toxic and negative and just everything used against me and twisted in a really fucked up way that I just had no desire to do that anymore. If you haven't noticed... Oh, this is like, just the victim guys, segment. the last few... Uh, not few uh, years come anymore. On. At this point, it's like almost five years. Okay, since I became a full-time streamer, this is what you get. This is, is terrible, office, though. The, the it's studio, absolutely disgusting. No, it's not a studio and it's not an office. It's closer to a game room, a playroom, a playpen, like a pig pen. This is what you get. The content I make in here. No, this is terrible. The the background is terrible. All of it is really bad. The door that you see there is really bad. The tablecloth that you have over there, the white one and the black one is just really bad. There's no anything to it. It's just black and white. In the console boxes, they're not good enough. You, there's no point for you to be flexing having an Xbox and a toilet seat and a Blanca statue and a Nintendo fucking Switch. Maybe you can flex having a PS5 because there are not a lot of them out there. In front of a camera in here, this is what you get. Outside of this room, I'm no longer in business. You see what I'm saying? I created what's called a work-life balance so that once I leave this office, Everything outside of this room has nothing to do with what I'm doing in here. I have a separation. Then of why is uh, WWE Champions a business expense? My job, my work, and my personal life. And let me tell you, my life has dramatically improved since I did that. 
I get downtime outside of this office where I don't have to worry about constantly making videos and content. I don't have to think about being harassed for content that I'm putting out that has to do with my personal life, right? Hold on. This contradicts the idea of him streaming all the time and never having a break. And now you're telling me I have a break where I don't think about content. But you stream all day. Come on. So I know you're kind of joking. D Donkey Kong's furry ding dong. Asking about me putting Big Brother cameras in my whole house. Um, I know people have actually, I've heard people have done that before. They wire their whole house, have cameras, and people watch them everywhere they go and they make content and they fucking make money doing it. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> you know. Absolutely. I mean, you don't have to. Having that separation of personal life and having yeah, an actual private that's... life like, from my work has been great. Why are you even, like, answering this it's question, DSP? You answered it at... became a huge hassle. Tax outside of this and never having to worry about that shit is great. I'll be honest with you guys. I liked doing DSP Tries It for as long as I did until it became a huge hassle, okay? How is it a hassle? You gotta I'm buy a burger? Food. Okay. Do I want to really set up a fucking camera and sit down and eat the food? I just want to eat. I just what? want to fucking eat. So now, instead of doing DSP tries it where I'm sitting in my dining room with a camera like an asshole, I'll do feasting with the king. Have a meal in here. Bro, why are you saying here? this like it's this massive change in your life? Holy shit, this is like the the, the most mundane fucking boring shit you can think of. You want a live stream and it's, it's Holy way Holy shit. Seriously. So, that's what I mean. Like, no, I absolutely don't want to do that crazy shit. I know there's other people out there who do it. No, I don't want to do that. The separation of my work and life has been great for me, for peace of mind, everything, and I'm not wow. doing that crap. Anyway. Okay, we got it. We got it. It's like a five-minute answer. That is the same answer just three times. So sleeping. No. Thanks. Not happening. Every genre out there. Oh, and we're talking about genres. Let me see but it, I the, am very, the transcript. I'm a variety content creator, and if you don't like that, don't watch. This dude is gonna put you me to sleep, you know, man. So and it's not gonna take much. You don't have to sit here and hate watch. You don't there have you to. Oh, okay, I can go away. Okay. All right. That's that's pretty chill. You're letting me do that. Uh, now let's see. What is the next thing? I have absolutely no clue what to play now. Uh, I was thinking of the DSP in Wings. Who's the better man? But I'm probably not gonna last that long. I'm really fucking sleepy. I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm gonna go out strong by just ending the stream now. And that's gonna be it. So I'm not gonna get super bored and by extension make this just boring. Uh, it's not gonna be the Elden Ring review because I don't want spoilers. So yeah, that's gonna be uh, it. Uh, big ups everybody for showing up. And I'm sorry that it's this early, but it's uh, it is what it is. Okay. And I still want to play uh, Forever Trippin' from the intro, because I like it so much. Alright? I'm lurking. You're still on... Baller. Me! Go blow his stuff up. This man is kidnapping children. Got the trunk pop like blood, we forever tipping. We didn't tell them that and we done showed them that, but they never listen. This the next edition on the pedal with it. I'ma shut it down like the epidemic. They invested with the devil, let's admit it. But I'm legend with it, coming hella different. Ran in the heavy, then I had a blessing, man, power. We was talking about how this not the West, but it's wild, wild. Long live, screw up, it ain't slowed up, it's a lost cause. And I talk loud cause I bounce hard like the outlaw. Hold up, you this my age, time takes his flow. Showing her like a naked hoe. My paint done so professional. Ball it's up. wet and red like SpaghettiOs. This my age, time takes his flow. Showing her like a naked hoe. Your my paint done so professional. It's wet and red like SpaghettiOs. I'm proud to be a loser. Children. Go blow his stuff up. Ain't that DJ Charles over there? DJ Charles. Everyone hates you. Yeah, yeah. Every 
everything that I'm in be tinted. Everything that you in be rented. Pub check, just hit a hundred K. Same day, hit the lot and I spin it. Now I'm on airline trying to get sprayed. I'm trying to really get paid. Shout out online, she's trying to get saved. Get in the woods, she gonna misbehave. Bust, yeah, bust that shit like the beat in the back. Bust that shit like the heat in the back. I'm a fuck on your car and I'm bringing them back. Got them in the ghetto like Don Key. From the land of the trail like Bun B. Like Rose said, and one D. Don't get carried away, this shit on me, cause I'm. Back then, ho, didn't want me. Now I'm high, ho, dial on me. And I'm the type to get a p my number. So when she call, I can dial Tony. Back then, ho, didn't want me. Back then, ho, didn't want me. Now I'm high, ho, dial on me. Now I'm high, ho, dial on me. Get the Trump pop like home. Oh, that's it. Oh. We didn't told them that and we done showed them 